1800s, particularly in 1890s, you have uh, a phenomenon called the player piano that comes on the scene. Uh, this is the first opportunity that people have to have a machine in their homes that will play back sounds through that particular player piano process. And it sparked a lot of interest. Technology from the 18, late 1870s and 1880s comes online in 1901, and the consumer can buy sound, can buy music. The entire process was changing the landscape that was ruled by live performers. The idea of a recording allowed a radio station to broadcast music, and it, again, technology jumps in and changes the way music is delivered. Refinements in the recording industry and the technology allow the recording engineers and producers to get a level of performance through multiple takes. We look at a few more changes in technology. You have the cassette player, you have eight tracks, eight tracks and automobiles. We get into the CDs and the technology again is easier to transport and carry with us. We have the Sony Walkmans in the early 1980s and suddenly we can put music around our ears and we can walk, we can jog, we can exercise. We now hit 1995 and the world begins to change. MP3 technology makes it possible for uh, Sean Fanning and Napster and other types of technology to come online and s allow the consumer to capture sound in a different way. We're beginning to change the model of delivering music and it's going to be interesting to watch this grow over time.